The ability to creep crawl is one of the many deeply satisfying joys that comes with owning your own small sailing boat. That knowledge that you can leave behind the hustle bustle busyness of popular sailing destinations to seek out solitude, tranquility and wilderness. And where better to do a little bit of overnight creek crawling than here in the Kingsbridge Estuary, a rear valley that runs deep into the rolling hills and plateau landscape of southern Devon here in southwest England. Well, I sailed down the fairway about 20 minutes ago to here, um, where I'm in the outer estuary bar area. I always come down here first before heading up the creeks and the inlets. There's an opportunity to just make sure I've rigged Arwen properly and that everything is working as it should. I really love the scenery down here. Those towering steep cliffs beside me just leading out to Bolt Head on the open coast. And the sea colour and the clarity of the water just down here is truly fabulous. I always think that sailing down here in northerlies gives you some good practice about coping with variable wind patterns and directions. Those steep tall cliffs in the beach valley of the north and south sands just over there deflect the wind. They cause it to spill down in frequent gusts, just as you're trying to pass around Wolf Rock normally. I've already tacked several times in the last few minutes to head on to a more northerly course, only to suddenly get caught right at that moment in the wind shift which leaves me in irons, head to wind, somewhat stalled. I never seem to get it right, it's quite funny really. Yeah, I know, it would help if I unfurled the jib and backed it slightly to bring Arwen around more quickly through the tack, and if I could trim the sails a little better. Um, I'm quite a lazy sailor really, very easy going, it's shocking isn't it? I'm just moored at the moment off Ditch End. Um, beautiful spot, uh, lovely sandy beaches behind me, and that's East Portlemouth. Um, and out to sea is down that way, down the fairway, and then going up that way is going up to Kingsbridge. Uh, 11 is 12 is not, over. And I'm just uh, having a bite to eat, and I'm just uh, waiting for the tide to build a little bit, uh, quite low tide, and I'm just checking uh, my notes. Um, so high tide this, uh, uh, this evening, is um, just after six o'clock and it's a 4.84 metre tide and I'm hoping to be able to go up to Southpool. I can start up that creek at around about two hours either side of um, high water and it's a nice little sheltered creek. Um, there's a visitor's pontoon at the very top end of it um, and there's a, a little pub up there somewhere as well in Southpool. Um, so that could be quite a pleasant evening. Um, so I'm just letting the tide build a little bit and then we'll go for a sail um, down the estuary and then we'll turn around, come back and by then there should be enough water to take me all the way up. So at the moment I am just riding off a mooring buoy for a few minutes down here at Ditch End. This is East Portlemouth. That's the fairway heading down out to sea. And then if you have a quick look, this is the chart. Um, taking us all the way up to the top of Kingsbridge up here. Sailing up Southpool Creek all the way to Southpool and there is a visitor's little mooring pontoon just there, which I don't think will be too busy and if not I can probably um, just dry out on the mud here and, and anchor along there in the shelter. I am, to be fair, getting much better at creek crawling. I'm slowly learning to read the direct feedback I get from tiller and centreboard. Although, admittedly, my reading of sails and sail trimming still leaves much to be desired. Despite many dinghy sailing courses, I haven't quite mastered this reading and setting of sails malarkey quite yet. 
And I'm definitely not doing justice to John's amazing navigator design, that's for sure. Sorry, John. I so enjoyed that. We're going to go back down and we're going to do it again. It was such a nice, nice little sail. So I'm going to come around. Days like this, I remember why I retired early. I am exercising far better judgment about things like water depth, the nature of the bottom on which to dry out, good navigation and pilot skills. Um, small steps. Progress is happening. My growth as a dinghy cruising adventurer is just going to be a far longer journey than most other people's. And I'm cool with that. It's par for the course in everything else I do. Well, truth be known, I sailed up and down this creek three times before I finally arrived at Southpool Creek Pontoon for the overnight stop. It's a stunning sailing area, and next time I'll deviate and explore up the Good Shelter Creek as well.